From far and wide, Oilers fans, this is Dolany TV. You guys know it's severe when I've got the jug, but even more severe when I've got my Edmonton Oilers jersey on for today's video, and it's as simple as this. Obviously, being the guy that I am, I can't exactly ignore this genius, I guess you could say, or goofball, whatever, any word you want to use to describe him, whatever. It's all on you to describe that guy that is pictured in that video, walking down the stairs of Roger's place, going jersey in hand to the ice to single-handedly end the Oilers season in one jersey toss right there no matter how many points back of a playoff spot we are no matter how close we are to the draft lottery number one overall seed it don't matter anymore the season is over simple as that that guy in one toss of a jersey onto the ice at Rogers place as the Oilers allowed the Chicago Blackhawks to pile up the goals simply and quite utterly in one toss, like I said, ended our hopes, our dreams of an Oilers playoff season, an Oilers season being at all pretty to end it as how ugly it has been so far, right? We, we no matter how much you are hoping the Oilers butcher it or hoping they turn it around, in that single motion, it is all over. It's done. It's cooked. I don't know why you would even bother watching another game, obviously. That's why I'm wearing my jersey, though. I don't stand for that. That, that, honestly, like I said, we're three points out of a playoff spot, and this guy, just because the Chicago Blackhawks come into Rogers' place toss and score four goals in the third period, toss the jersey on the ice. Actually, five, but whatever. It didn't even matter. The count is too screwy at this point. Anyway, my point being is you got to take a look at reality. No matter how detached you have become. Guys, I pray and I pry at the base that is the Oilers fans, right? We we sit here and have a discussion on Dolany TV almost every single day since November. I have said some outlandish things. You guys have said some outlandish things. I've said things that have made sense. You guys have said th things that make way more sense. However, at no point have any of us sat there and looked at the standings and thought, it's done, it's over, it's cooked mathematically. And a jersey toss in this instance, when we are three points back of a playoff spot and battling every single night, like honestly, come on, that is our first regulation loss since the All-Star break. Mind you, do I really appreciate the third period blowups in Montreal and Philadelphia? No, I don't. We still managed the point and that's what matters. However, we go lose one ugly style, terrible issue in a home game against the Chicago Blackhawks who in that instance of winning that game tie us in the standings. It doesn't friggin' matter. There's still a chance. I know. I'm, I'm now sitting here saying I'm the guy that says there's still a chance. Wait, there's hope? Well, not exactly in my mind. I will be the first one to admit. You can go back and look at my video. I don't give a crap if you want to try and call me a hypocrite on this one. I said the playoffs are a pipe dream, goodbye, gone, when we lost to the LA Kings in early January. I'm fine. I went down on record saying that. I will not delete that video. Go check it out. I outlined my reasons why I am fine being that guy. However, to be that guy, to single-handedly, as the representative of the Oilers fan base, throw a jersey on the ice at a home game, I am sorry. That is, that is not exactly, I'm saying he's a representative of all of us in terms of representing all of us as fans. No, what I mean is he represents all of us to the players who were on the ice, on the bench, and in the rafters when that jersey got tossed, right? The players now know. It is reality for them. And unfortunately, this guy just set reality in the players' minds of what the fans are thinking. This guy represents everyone to the players, the coaching staff, the management team, the ownership. This genius goofball, whatever you want to call him, goes out there, does that, and single-handedly shows the players, coaching staff, management, and everything else, season's done. You know what? We're fine with it being done. Why even try? Just... End it already. Call it quits. It's good. It's goddamn done. We don't care.
That's essentially what that genius went and did. And now, all of a sudden, what do we expect? Where do we go from here? Problem is, like I said, we just went out there as Oilers fans, allowed that guy to toss that jersey on the ice, and now suddenly the players are thinking it. The players are thinking, eh, they don't have hope in us, why should we even try? And I've seen that with the Oilers before. We all know the jersey toss of the past. And guess what? It only gets uglier from there. I'm sorry. It, it, it happened. And the stupid part is it happens at, what, game 54, 55 on the calendar? And we're three points back of a playoff spot. And somehow, now we expect, as Oilers fans, this is the problem. This guy now represents, like I said, all of us to the players, management, coach, whatever. We now expect this team to hopefully, as individual Oilers fans, there's some of you that are still hoping the playoffs can happen. There's some of you that are saying we're getting a draft lottery pick in the top five. There's some of you that's saying we need to trade these. Guess what? All of this just fell in on itself. Fell in on itself just like that. In the single motion of a toss of a jersey, it's done. And now, what I'm going to say, to that point, is the fact that Oilers fans had a mixed reaction. I'm not saying this guy went out there, tossed the jersey, and got a roaring round of applause. I'm not saying that. Because guess what? He didn't. He didn't. He got very mixed emotions. Quite a few boos from what I could tell. The guy's filming the video, obviously. You, I was going to show the video. I have no place, no need to show that video. I have enough of a platform myself that you guys understand where I'm coming from, understand what I'm saying here, understand it without video evidence. I don't have to reference that in direct form. I just have to reference it by name and you guys know what's going on. So guys in the video losing their minds are like, I think more in shock than in happiness, to be honest with you. But to sit there and now, the reason you would boo, why would you boo that? And I think it's exactly what I'm doing right now. Why you would boo that is because you know what that means. And a jersey coming out of the stands, I don't care if it's one or 100, it all means the exact same thing. It all means the same to the players, coach, and management. Ownership group two. So now, here's where I draw the line as well. We have called for the firing of McClellan. Now we've got Hitchcock and a lot of people are calling for him to be fired. Me oh me. Now, okay, so you've got two coaches, one on the hot seat, one already fired. You've got a general manager in Peter Shirelli who ran himself out of town essentially with bad deal after bad deal. And now you've got fans blaming Nicholson, fans blaming Kevin Lowe somehow still, Craig McTavish. Okay, upper management, sure. Problem is, like I said in a previous video about Daryl Cates, it all goes up to Daryl Cates and there is only one solution here for Daryl Cates because right now, the current Oilers roster in my mind is not going to change. The reason being is upper management just has a guy doing the job, the day-to-day -day job, just to have a guy. That's Keith Gretzky at this point. If Keith Gretzky is allowed to make a trade, I will be 100% shocked. 100%. But, here's the thing. Upper management is controlling that. Daryl Cates is above upper management. If you're saying your team can't make a change because you're too scared to make that change, you should not have your job. However, Daryl Cates is so in love with the old boys club, it's not going to happen. But we blame Clay Cates Hold on. If we blame Cates, like I said in my video the other week, with the fish rotting from the head theory, you are opening up such a Pandora's box of ugliness for an Oilers fan, an Oilers fan base, an Oilers community, that it is not even worth thinking about. Yet here we are, no solutions, jerseys being tossed on the ice, and now the season, like I said, pretty much toast. Because A, we just gave it to them. We just showed the Oilers exactly what we think. Unfortunately, as much as it's on that guy himself, one or 100, it doesn't matter. One jersey on the ice is enough to say what's happening in the Oilers fan base's mind. 
We can boo all we want, but unless we stop that guy, nothing good to come of it the rest of the way home, guys. I hated saying when the playoffs were done for us in early January. I hate friggin' saying this now, but it is the way she goes. I'm Tyson, this stole any TV. I will catch you guys tomorrow for the game preview because I'm not done. I'm not done. I hope you're not done, but the Oilers might think we're done. I am up on Oda here.